Hello everybody and welcome to another Learning with Chrono. Today we will be covering the surprisingly complicated windmill. Now the windmill has some interesting little features to it as it produces power not just uh, based on wind so we don't get one constant rate of power it's based on the amount of wind in the world at the time times the height in the world. So it's kind of confusing. Actually, it's a lot of confusing. Because there's no way to tell at any one time how fast the wind is going in the world. But obviously, it's kind of easy to tell how high you are in the world. For example, right now we are on... 4. So not very high in the world. So we shouldn't be getting much, if any, power. And in fact, if we plug a bat box into here, we're kind of not getting any power. And if I leave it sit here for a few moments, we can see that I'm still not getting pretty much any power. Which is not terribly surprising, considering how low we are in the world. Now, to get a windmill to run most efficiently, it has to be a certain set distance apart from other things. Like in the water bill tutorial, it had to have one block of water around it on all sides and in the corners. So basically a 3x3x3 three by three by three area. The windmill needs a bit more space than that. It runs on a 9x9x7 area. So... This is nine blocks going this way. It's also nine blocks going that way. And it's seven blocks going that way. Now, it works best with two blocks open beneath it. Except, of course, for the cabling, which is recommended to go directly underneath it, down two blocks, and then over to where it needs to go. And then an extra four blocks of empty space above it. So, nine by nine by seven whereas the windmill sitting on level 3. And that could get you the most power out of one windmill. Now, this is why I'm on a brand new flat world, as you can see. It's because in my other flat world, because of the pre-created flat world that I picked, I was on level, like, 225 or something like that so i was far too far above the ground to properly test out the windmill now as we could see putting it here pretty much gave us nothing and even if i follow the best practices that suggested so that we have two blocks of cable underneath it and then we put the windmill on top we could see i'm still pretty much getting nothing So, let's go up a little bit. I have prepared this area beforehand, where each of the platforms is 25 blocks off the ground. And this little extended area here is a few blocks out, so we could get a, few, get a little bit of a clearing. We can get a general idea of how high up these things need to be. Now, right now, we've got lots of clear area around it, plenty of clear space above it, and these are just taking up the two blocks below it that would normally be taken up by the cabling anyways. So this should be an ideal setup. And we are standing on 25, so that means it's sitting on 26. No, 27, sorry. My math failed me there for a moment but we can see that we're not getting any power still. So let's go up to the next level, level, level 50. And we'll set up the same exact setup we had before, where there's still plenty of space around the windmill. And we can see we're pretty much getting nothing as well. And if we bump it up to the next level, level 75, and set up the same 
exact setup once again, we can see we're getting power now, and it's producing it pretty slowly. About 3 EU per second. So not a lot of power. Not a lot of power at all. And if we go up one more, do the same thing. Well, that's a bit of a difference. I'd say that's a considerable amount of difference. In fact, that seems to be about as fast as it was running when I had just four total windmills in my world. Now, this was kind of makes sense. In my world, on the Shenanaderp server, I was on level... 60 something 64 maybe so somewhere between level 50 and level 75 is where we actually start producing power so that would make sense that my little village is literally just below that line which is why sitting it down so it's just stick sticking over the railing wasn't producing any power but if i bumped it up to it was so let's continue our little experiments here. So this was level 75, right? Nope, this was level 100. That was level 75. So that was level 100. So let's go up to level... Oh, but I want to turn off the rain. Because that will skew my testing at the moment. We'll get to the rain later. And now that we're level 125, there we go. It seems to take a moment for it to start working. I don't know if the turbines are getting up to speed or something. I'm not sure how that's programmed. But we're going pretty quick. Getting some serious power real quick. So if we go up to the next level, 150... we wait a moment there we go we're getting even more power it is actually starting to produce power pretty quick uh, surprisingly quick um, I think we might be to the point where we're well we're over one EU per tick at this point that can get pretty impressive so that was 150 so 175 just double checking to make sure level 175 and then if we get this one a moment ooh, that's a lot of power this is giving me a lot of ideas of what I want to do though so, that's a lot of wire Then the next one. Now, I may be slightly mistaken about this, but that looks to be running slower than the last one. Let's double check. That is running slower than the last one. So the one at level 175 is running faster than the one at level 120. Or 200, sorry. That's definitely weird. Let's see if the. What happens if we go to 250? Now, after several moments, 
there seems to be no power buildup whatsoever. Well, that's interesting. Now, we haven't come across this before like we did with the water mills, but, okay, maybe there's a glitch. Let's replace the cable. No. One more time. No. At level 200, we are just not producing power. At all. So, we're getting some pretty interesting outcome here. Level 200 runs slower than level 175. And level 225 doesn't run at all. Well then, I would assume that the same exact thing could be said for level 250, which is the last increment between this and sky level. And we seem to not be producing any power at all here either. Now looking, reading the wiki, it actually gives examples. The first example it gives is a windmill placed as high as possible, layer, layer 256, will produce roughly 63,500 EU per day, or 2.6 EU per tick. But we're on level 250, technically 253 right now, and we're not producing anything. And 225 wasn't producing anything either. Now the second example is also mildly confusing because it speaks of layer 10. And we didn't get anything until 75. Which is this one here. And it's slow, but we're getting it. And if we hop down, let's just see. Nope. At level 50, we're still not producing any power whatsoever. Level 25, we're also not producing any power whatsoever. So I'm going to guess that the wiki is either just wrong, or there is a component that it does not explain. Which would... Yeah, there, there just must be a component that it doesn't explain where it's getting power at the insanely higher ups and at the insanely lower downs. So I'm not 100% sure about that. But let's look at something a little bit more interesting about the windmills. Now we see how fast it's running now. This is the 75, level 75 windmill. If we enable the rain, Don't know how noticeable it is, but the speed increases by 25% when it's raining. And then if we change the storm to rain and thunder... Which there's no thunder... Come on. Well, it is faster. I am seeing it being faster. So when it's rain and thunder, it actually runs 50% faster than when it was clear. So when it's just rain, it's 25% more efficient. And when it's rain and thunder, it's 50% more efficient. Now, what we should check while it's doing the rain and thunder thing is the way up here about 175, which is one more up, we're actually not producing power anymore. Mm. 
which may explain why those up there don't work at all. Do the, does the 150 work? Well, there's our thunder. And that's cruising along pretty good. But our 150 now works, where our 175 does not. What if I change the weather to clear again? Does this windmill all of a sudden start working again? Yes, it does. Okay, so that brings up what in the wiki I thought was the most interesting thing. If the wind actually gets more powerful or stronger than a certain limit, it will break the windmill. Now, when they said break the windmill, I thought they actually meant it popped like that but apparently not apparently by break the windmill it just stops working altogether but obviously when the rain went to clear it just started up again which i guess may explain why these windmills just straight up don't work oh well that one's working That one still is not. So that may explain why these windmills just don't work. It might not be that there's a glitch or anything. It might be that the wind up here is just too powerful. Well, I think this is a good test anyways. Uh, now, if we took and say, let's put another windmill just right beside it. Well, that is definitely faster. But it's not as fast as we could be if we did it properly. And made the windmill way out here where it wants to be that is definitely faster than when he had the windmill side by side so the nine by nine by three is accurate so of course if we're talking nine by nine by three that means we have to have four on each side of the windmill, four on each side, four on the top, and then two underneath. And we've got more than four in between that windmill and this windmill. And it definitely runs faster. So personally, I find this uh, quite fascinating, how complex something like this can be. I'm sure you'd have to actually worry about this kind of thing in the real world, too, which is why you don't see, you know, dozens of those big giant windmills all hunkered together in a very small area. Well, you need a lot of wide open space to have all that wind without them actually interfering with each other. And the reason that these don't work at higher wind speed is probably also the same reason you usually don't see the windmills running in big ass thunderstorms it's because they run too fast and will break and just stopping them and not getting the electricity probably costs them far less than having somebody go out there and repair them so that's another thing that i think is really cool about this kind of this kind of stuff it's accurate it, it makes sense it's logical Can you tell I'm liking these windmills? I'm liking them a lot. And I'm thinking up some ideas. I'm thinking above my place, way up high, apparently somewhere around 175 blocks, I just have a windmill farm. Hmm. Well, ideas, ideas. But that's for a later day. As for this tutorial video, I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, put them down in the 
comments. I'll answer them as best as I can. And if you like this video, leave a thumbs up. If you really like this video, favorite it. And if you want to see more, subscribe. So, as always, keep playing the game and have fun.